How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is high blood pressure is a scam and I'm gonna show you how to lower it quickly and naturally. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified in my new videos. And I'm also doing fat loss coaching, so if you're interested in extra help, go ahead and shoot me an email or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram and those links are in the description box below. All right, so I was out here on my walk today and I wanted to make this video because I think it's very important. Just to give you a little background, I had high blood pressure pretty much ever since I can remember. Even when I was 13 years old, my blood pressure was in the 130s, 140s, over 80s. Um, that continued throughout my 20s. And then when I was in my 30s, I changed to a healthier lifestyle and I was able to lower my blood pressure just like that. So I'm gonna tell you some things specifically to, of what I recommend you to try out because some people change to a healthier lifestyle and they say their blood pressure still does not come down. So, first of all, I would recommend trying a 48 hour to a 72 hour water fast. Water fast is very effective in lowering blood pressure. And there's even a place in Northern California called True North Health, it's a fasting center, and they have published studies that show they're able to lower people's blood pressure through water fasting and then they transition them to a healthy diet and it stays um, within normal range once they do that. So try a 48 hour to a 72 hour fast, water fast. See if that works. You may have to go longer. Um, if you do, you might wanna have uh, medical supervision for it if it's longer than that. But that is definitely gonna get a, be a good jump start and um, get, you, get you to where you need to be. Once you're done with the water fast, you wanna transition to a clean whole food plant-based diet with little to no processed foods. That's gonna be key. So if you're eating a whole food plant-based diet that's very clean with little to no processed foods, that'll keep you on the right, right track. That's what you wanna do at least for the most part. So those are two big things, the water fast, the whole food plant-based diet. And then there are some other things that have helped me. So I've noticed that green tea really helps, uh, helps my, with blood pressure, for me at least. So you might wanna try drinking green tea. I usually have two cups a day, uh, the first, one in the morning and one in the late, you know, late morning, or early afternoon. So try out green tea. And there's also published studies that show flax seeds and hibiscus tea work well for high blood pressure. So you might wanna add flax seeds and hibiscus tea to your diet as well. So those are some things you wanna try out. The water fast, the clean diet with little to no processed foods, and the uh, hibiscus tea, the green tea, and the flax seeds. I'm also gonna show you uh, what I recently ate in a day, just to give some ideas of healthy foods I recommend. So here you go. Okay, so I intermittent fast, like always. So at 12.30, I started out with a smoothie. I had two cups of frozen fruit, included a lot of berries and mangoes. I had a banana. I had a few tablespoons of soaked chia seeds, a couple big handfuls of mixed greens, and a big cup of water to thin it out a little bit. So it was a good way to start the, the eating day at 12.30 with that big smoothie that was after my workout. And then I was right back at 2 p.m. I had a couple of servings of oatmeal. I had some things that I threw in there. And that was a sliced banana and a sliced apple. A handful of walnuts. A couple tablespoons of almond butter. And some almond milk. And some cinnamon I put on there as well. So that's one of my favorite oatmeals. Had that at 2 p.m. And then at 5.30 I had some veggie soup. I had a peanut butter and banana sandwich and some tangerines. So thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.